whenever it gets a chance. Shelley, you had a comment? I was just going to say with Mr. DeFrancis, it could have been an association in the, from the past, a negative association, unconscious. All right. Uh, Chuck? We've got so many eyes in us, who knows what it was. Okay. Jim? We're all continuously angry at all times, but <clears throat> a lot of times we're so asleep in daydreams that we can walk by 50 people and not see them. Linda. We're all lonely, aren't we? <clears throat> yes. Didn't you give Mr. DeFrancis the answer when you asked him, do you understand yourself? I was hinting at it. What was my answer? I don't know. No. That was <clears throat> your answer. I don't. I don't understand myself. Then why did you say you weren't lonely? I am not lonely. <laughs> uh, let me say it like this. I'm by my cell phone. I never turn on a television. What are you doing with your mind? Pardon? You don't, I, you don't turn on television, but what are you doing with your mind? Well, I either got one of Vernon's books that I read, or I take a walk around the block. I take and try to... Uh, I really don't know what I do do. Really. But as far as... You know, I've had that period in my life where it's terribly lonesome, but I don't have that now. I don't, I don't have that problem. In consciously, now, if I is, it is completely uncomfortable, but I just do not have a problem of loneliness. I would rather, for instance, stay home by myself than go play bridge. I would rather stay home and enjoy myself and take a walk around the corner than go play bingo. This is what I'm trying to say. Right. All right, can we turn off the light? <laughs> 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 that enough? enough? Duffy? Can I say something again? Yes, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. I go quite often to a dental office, and it seems like the person who works on me, the life was always under control. And the last two times I, I noticed a great sensitivity in a person who before was very fun-loving and choking. And this time I was there and I could feel that the person was very uncontrolled. She barely held herself together. And it finally it popped out. I'm getting a divorce. And uh, all along I felt this great emotional stress in that woman and for the first time in my life, I really felt this and felt no need to contribute more to her misery by not saying anything to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you know a topic we haven't discussed very much, which it might be a good idea to talk briefly about before we have a break? It's the topic of patience. Has, any, has the patience of any of you been tried even tonight by listening to some of these talks? No. Huh? Huh? Do, do, any, do any of you think that some of the speakers here are bores? Come on, you can admit it. That, huh? Huh? Do any of you think you might be a bore? <laughs> you know, it's very valuable. The, the biggest bore in this room, you think I'm going to say a name, don't you? <laughs> You're hoping I'm not. <laughs> The biggest bore in this room is the most valuable person to you. Right? Right. right. When is he going to stop talking about himself? <laughs> you know, and at the same time, or she, you're watching your own reaction to it and you refuse to get negative over that. Who is indeed a crashing bore. <laughs> We're not going to lie about it. If you're boring, you're boring. <laughs> well,
Well, we found the bores. Who are the brilliant speakers in the room? Let's see the hands of the brilliant speakers. Joan, are you a good person? No, I'm warning you. <laughs> Let's take a ten minute break. All right, write down a sentence. Spiritual stupidity is the failure to realize that the attacker and his victim are the very same person. Spiritual stupidity is the failure to realize that the attacker and his victim is the very same person. Doesn't that clear up a thousand questions in your mind? Don't you know that you never attacked anyone on earth except yourself? Right. Mm -hmm. you, you have never hurt anybody's feelings. You have never attacked anyone. What you have done, listen, what you have done is attack yourself. When the other person was with you, when you attacked yourself and you thought you were attacking him, he attacked himself, right? Mm -hmm. By taking your attack on the level of the attack itself. Do you understand the depths of this if you can see it? Example, maybe a little simple example would help. Illustration. A soldier t takes his rifle and he goes out in the woods to scout and shoot the enemy. And he goes out there and he, the bushes are thick and it's kind of dark at night. And he sees another soldier creeping up toward him over there. And he fires and wounds a soldier and finds out that it's one of his own, soldier of his own army. Don't you see every time you, you shoot the rifle at all, you injure yourself. We've tracked down this odd behavior many times, but maybe we'd better go over it again. When I attack myself, when I bayonet and shoot myself, it's because I love being wounded. It's a marvelous feeling to be wounded because I'm the wounded soldier. I'm persecuted, for example. Hmm? You persecute you, me, and I, I even find ways to invite you to persecute me by con continuing to live with an idiot like you, which makes me an equal idiot. Spend the next six months trying to understand a phrase which you heard when you first came here, which may be new to some of you. And that phrase is false feeling of life. Every time you injure yourself, and all injury is self-injury, every time you injure yourself, you like the thrill of it. You like the thrill of being scared because that makes you a scared person. It gives, it gives you something to do with yourself. Now you tell me who's psychopathic that you or I enjoy scaring ourselves because we don't know anything else to do with ourselves. And indeed, mechanical emotions, compulsive emotions, never have anything, any other knowledge, to use that word, of what to do with themselves, except to flow as they do. They can't know anything else. You can't know any. You, you can't know anything but the pain of your own negative emotions. 